we're finally getting to bootstrap. And today we're going to apply it to the good old question, what is the average high schooler's hydration? So if we were truly interested in the answer to this question, we go to every single high schooler, which we'd call the population. We would ask them what their hydration was, and we'd calculate what the average of it was. And this would give us the true average high schooler's hydration. But because it's pretty annoying to talk to every single high schooler, and because it's completely intractable to talk to every single American or another larger population, we decided on a similar workaround. We would talk to a sample of people, a small subset of people. We would ask these high schoolers what their hydration was, and we'd get an estimate theta hat for the above theta. Now we learned in the previous course that we can have this guy, theta hat, our estimator, the average of the hydration of the sample of high school students being a good estimator for the true population's estimator, or for the true population's parameter, if one, we had a random sample from the population, so we can say this is 20, and it is indeed random, and we rely on the plug-in principle. And the plug-in principle says, yes, theta hat, if we, know nothing about, if we know nothing else about the population, we'll be the best estimator for theta in general. Whew, that's nice. What was the problem? The problem was, even though theta might be the best, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. It could just turn out that there's no good estimator from the population given your sample. So how do we work it out? Well, as you might guess, we use Bootstrap. I'm not going to go into the entire thing now, but I'm going to tell you at least what you're going to get from Bootstrap. Bootstrap, instead of just giving you a single number and an estimate for what you think the population's hydration would be, so for example, maybe theta hat is 0.95, Bootstrap will give you a range, a range that we'll call a confidence interval. And I'll go into this later on. So it might say that the population parameter is likely to be between 0.75 and 1.05. And the great thing about this is it not only will give you an interval, so it's likely to be between 0.75 and 1.05, but it will also give you a chance that it will be between the two. So you'll be able to say that I am 90% confident that the average high schooler's hydration is be, well is between 0.75 and 1.05. You'd be able to take a one to nine bet that that's absolutely true. And this is the magic of bootstrap. So hold your horses and get ready for a rocky road. <laughs>